This episode's FTR shoutout goes to the Salvinia dude. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what up? How's it going, everyone? My name is Chris. You're watching Fish for Thought. Uh, here's Millie. Hi, Millie. Say hi to the people, Millie. Say hi to... No. Come here. Don't have to be rude like that. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Fish Tank Review. Oh, let's go. Get wrecked, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that cat is still a kitten. That is the primary reason why that fish is not dead yet. Because when the cat gets a little bigger, the claws are going to get bigger too. And they got retractable claws. When the claws come out, they can snipe that fish and hook it. Oh, but that. And you know, the rest will be history. But the fish is also quite big, so I have high hopes that this fish is gonna fight its way through. Hopefully this works out. The tank does look a little small for the size of the fish, but it looks like a survivor. It looks like it's pretty healthy. It's doing all right, so not very useful tips. <laughs> useful tips for successful interior decorating with aquariums. Not only is this not a useful tip for interior decoration, it's not a useful tip for aquariums or the fish either. Interior decorating with aquariums is fun. Sure, you can say it's fun, but it ain't pretty. 540,000 subscribers or followers. What is this? Instagram? Maybe it's Pinterest? I never go on Pinterest. Maybe that's why there's crap like that on Pinterest. It's so impractical and it looks dirty. There's probably no filter in there, so not really any air exchange for such big goldfish in such a small containment. Not to mention the ammonia and nitrates that will build up very quick. How are you supposed to feed it? You gotta lift up the glass every day? Uh, it's just impractical and looks disgusting. Yikes, go back to school, take some actual courses on interior design. We'll talk after that. Brian Pai on Petscord known as Garuda no Raijin. I always associate the word Raijin to Naruto's dad, Minato, because of his flying Raijin move, flying thunder god. Pretty badass. This tank is pretty badass. I mean, look at that fertilized substrate. Thick layer of substrate. You got some almond leaves. The hardscape with the wood and plants embedded in it is pretty sick. I don't know how I feel about the bigger gravel river rocks. It could be a nice touch. I just feel like maybe sand would have worked better here. Hopefully you stock it with something that is, you know, sensible. So no Tetras in here, please. For now, 4.55 out of 5. This is no joke. This is nice. You know what else is nice? You guys sponsoring this video by smashing that like button. Thank you so much. And checking out the Patreon, seeing if you want to support me for like $2 a month. It really adds up for the channel if it's not a big deal for you. And you get a lot of perks in return. So thank you for your consideration. Me to everyone who taught me about fish care as a kid. You were wrong. I love you were wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try with a South African accent like that. I'm, I can't do it. Rest in peace, Bozeman. Man, nobody saw that coming. But what a strong dude. Kept working until, you know, his day came. And his day came way too early. Seriously, rest in peace, bro. But you will live on as a legend. And I agree, uh, man. Especially because I grew up in China. Like, I had goldfish back in China. And they, they might have been from fairs. You what? At least one or two of them. I mean, this was when I was like three to five years old. So it's not like I had a say in it. And I don't think I was smart enough or any little kid that young, like a three year old would be like, no, goldfish don't belong in bowls or tubs or whatever the heck I kept them in. <sighs> Millie, you <sighs> so many feathers blowing all over the place, bro. All this in a 30 to 40 gallon tank. All what? That's nothing. Are you serious? Not even halfway stocked right now. Can't you see the plastic plants? Those plastic plants help filter the nitrates and ammonia and give the fish oxygen. This tank is so big, I can still see the empty spaces between the fish, wasting the space that could be utilized with more fish, maybe some frogs, maybe turtles and crayfish. They love to go together in one tank. No problemo. Modern art basically. That arowana is too small. They need to get like three more arowana and then get them big and juicy for the feast. This fish tank is sent in by Caroline Donnelly. I feel like we've reviewed one of those tanks, but I don't remember seeing this tank. Maybe I just forgot. It's got 
plants everywhere. It's got plants in the shade and in the light. You got some night crews, I think dual night crews. Good stuff, man. This is this is hitting home for me. And it's a breeder, classic breeder looking uh, fish tank. It's nice. It's planted so well. It's got two types of hydrocodos. It's got some stem plants, Ludwigia, Rotala. It's got floaters up top, pothos growing immersed. We got some tiger lilies or tiger lotus in the shade kept pretty low, which I like just for the texture. It's amazing. The woodscape looks like a piece of art it looks very natural down there and it's got even some little plants in the filter as well they kept the filter really small and probably is under filtering the tank but all this plant matter is definitely helping that it's very lightly stocked i think there's a chocolate or samurai garami very hard to see, but oh, and some Harlequin Rasboras. Man, this is amazing. You know what? This is a five out of five. I don't know what I rated it last time, but this is really catching my flow. I'm vibing with this right now. This is like a low tech, very low maintenance tank, and it looks beautiful. It's not fancy, and it, it's not trying to be what it isn't. So it's owning it. Good job, Caroline. Millie, are you Daijobu? Is life Daijobu for you right now? Why are you taking it out on my shoulder? Do you want a head scratch or something? Is that what you want? No? You don't want a head scratch? Nothing like a sorority in a three gallon. Ah, well said. Beautiful. All sororities should be in three gallons or smaller. Let's be honest. Why would you give fish any room to swim? That should be a felony. Some of those are nice. The pink tailless is amazing. This must be a reseller's tank because of the quality of the fish. This may be a quick throw in and shoot display picture because most of those fish would not survive a few hours together. This guy know, seems like they know what they're talking about. Great insight. But however, like what kind of display shoot, photo shoot would yield this quality of a picture? Like what are they shooting it with? Like a poster oven? You got all this beautiful fish you want to sell. At least invest in a better camera. Damn. And maybe give them a better tank, like a 2.5, maybe one gallon tank instead of three gallon. Like I feel like three gallons isn't good enough. You gotta go a little smaller than that, you know what I'm saying? My sister's aquarium. I mean, look at that. That looks like a clean, very clean design. It might be acrylic, might be even plastic, but hey, it looks great on picture, but not with what is in it. Like the blue gravel, the fake little plant filled to like 75% with a crown tail in it. This is easily like maybe just one gallon, maybe 0.5 gallons. You have no business putting a bed of fish in there. You can plant it up really nicely, like a nano nature planted tank in that modern design. That would be perfect. Millie is just destroying my neck. I don't know what's up with you right now, Millie, but you're being a bad burb. Yeah, yeah, I said it, that's right. Person, my fishbowl is cute. The fishbowl, Peppa Pig. The infamous World War II death factory comes to life. Step inside and experience the horror for yourself. Is it, whatever the streaming service is, I think they got the description wrong on the movie. However, that pig does look like it's seen some things. Bonus secret comment of this episode is Neon Tetra. Found on YouTube. Cats playing in water compilation. Cats playing in water, sure. But, you know, if the water is from the fishbowl or fish tank, then we got a problem. There's 194,000 views and 1.5 thousand likes, but only 125 dislikes. This is very worrying. I'm more shocked by that atrocious font. What the hell? Bro, that's, that's savage, my dude. The font is rosemary and it is for cool people, aka not you. Whoa, clapping back back, know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, it's not even about cats playing with fish in fish bowls. If you ask me, I mean, it's better than Comic Sans. I don't want OP to come after me, so it's good. It's a good font. Very respectable for cool people, aka not me. Caden sent in this magnifico, beautiful planted tank. I mean, what, what can you say to that? Looks like a Dutch style or Dutch style inspired. The layer's not quite right for Dutch style. I think the front needs to be a little bit shorter, but it, I mean, damn, dude. Beautiful Zen garden you would find in some rich person's backyard. Clear lily pipes, very minimalistic, everything. Clean glass. This is a five out of five, no doubt. Ah, sorry, 4.9 out of five, probably five gallons. I just feel like it's not it's not that great for Neon Tetras. I think the stocking could have been a little better. You could have went with truly nano fish like Axorodi or Chili Rasboras. That's just my opinion. I mean, this is all just my opinion, but yeah, 4.9 out of five would have been perfect have it not been for the stocking. I know a lot of people make fun of me for it, but I'm just, you know, I'm trying to push the other way. 
uh, for like fish that should get more room because if I just let it go a little bit here and there then you know people on the internet are already crazy they're like putting five bettas in like three gallons of water sometimes or like 10 goldfish in a uh, bio orb so I should go a little more extreme end on the don't stock it so much to kind of counteract that. But people make fun of me like there's a meme, not really a meme, but like some, some comments when I post like a Instagram picture of me in front of the ocean. So the ocean is, you know, in the background and it's just a picture of me and people are like commenting, Chris rates it three out of five. Uh, too many fish, not enough room. <laughs> Very funny, haha. -ha. Interesting placement, okay, yeah. Uh, that might be a oven. This is in the kitchen. I mean fish tanks in the kitchen are generally okay depending on like what kind of use your kitchen gets. Like if you're always firing up a wok and stir frying with a lot of oil and you're not running the fans or your fans aren't really like good enough to handle all that grease going up in the air, your fish tank's gonna be in trouble if it's actually anywhere near the kitchen. Ghost crab use teeth in their stomach to growl at their enemies. That is cool and I want to experience and hear that growl. I want to hear how realistic and how like threatening it is. Could you ask them to frickin not? <laughs> James Coley. Okay, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> now I'm just imagining these scientists like talking to the ghost crab like, hey, can you, can you not? Can you freaking not? Some people, man. MMM freshness sent in this fresh fish tank. Looks like it was just set up not too long ago. Not gonna lie, it does look a little bit empty. Oh, I see. You've got some, you've got the wood pinned down. Yeah, so basically make sure you plan this out. It'll take quite a while for wood to actually be waterlogged. What? I'm gonna waterlog you. Yeah. Ah. What I like to do is just attach fishing line or something to a rock and then put the rock under the substrate so that no one can see it and attach that to the wood somehow. Like strap it down basically. 3.5 out of 5. Keep it up. Like to see what it looks like in a few months. We've reached the end of this episode, but you know what? There's more to come. Wednesday uploads, Friday uploads, and of course next Monday, another episode of FTR. So make sure you subscribe up. And yes, I upload more than an FTR every week. Come on, guys. There's people trolling me in the comments now. Like whenever I upload every Wednesday and Friday, they'll be like, wow, bonus video from FFT. Didn't see this one coming. Like hell, Amelia and I hope you have enjoyed this week's FTR and that your Monday started off just a little better because of it. The bonus comment of this video is Tiger Lotus. And I'm going to see you guys in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Okay. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot. From Carisiformes to Parachirodon, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.